When Andrea Wedner was shot during the massacre at Tree of Life, a bullet severed a nerve in her arm. She couldn't move her wrist or her fingers. She had shrapnel embedded in her face, and she lost her mother, Rose. Six months later, she is healing both emotionally and physically. Andrea Wedner and her mother, Rose, had the type of relationship that most people would envy. They spent every week together. Tuesdays were for shopping, doctor's appointments, and lunch. Saturdays for synagogue. Rose, as everyone knows, her a booby. She was a wonderful mother. Everybody wanted to be with, with Rose. At 97, Rose Mallinger was strong and vibrant. She had so much life in her. She just wasn't ready to go. A gunman who entered the Tree of Life synagogue ended her life along with 10 others. Andrea survived being shot in the arm. I have to stay strong for her. She's in my heart. She's on my shoulder. When I'm in therapy, I think of her. She keeps me going. She does. The last six months have been filled with healing, both emotionally and physically. How many surgeries have you had? Two. On my arm. I had one on my face. That was to remove shrapnel. And three days a week, you will find Andrea at occupational therapy, determined and working hard to get back the use of her right arm. Six months later, how are things? Good. I can move my wrist. I have more strength in my fingers. First three, anyway. The, this, these two aren't that great. So I don't know what will happen. Optimistic. I'm trying to be. Yes. I'm here. I'm grateful. Grateful for the support from the people of Pittsburgh, both strangers and friends, her family, and her husband, Ron, who was always by her side. They were the key to my healing. They were. My husband, he was wonderful. He took great care of me. Um, yeah, had a lot of good people around me. And she will never forget the brave men and women who rushed to the synagogue that Saturday morning last October to help save those inside. What about the first responders and the, the police officers? They're amazing. They, we thank them wherever we see them because they give their lives for us. And those first responders were there within two minutes. This is their job and they just do it no matter what. The SWAT medic who came to take me out of the chapel He's my friend now. I call him my savior. Her near-death experience has changed her. Andrea says she no longer sweats the small stuff. And she encourages all of us to be kind, smile, give hugs, and say I love you. I have a lot to live for, and I'm going to live, and I'm going to enjoy my life. No one is going to take that away from me. This evil person is not going to do that. going to make the most of it because I was lucky. She is a survivor. She is a strong woman. And there is something about Andrea Wedner. When you are with her, she lights up the room and you can feel her positive energy. I couldn't agree with you more. You brought Andrea and Ron, her husband, in the newsroom a short time ago. And uh, it's just remarkable how they both have, have progressed to this point where they are in their lives now. You know, last week we interviewed Mr. Werber, who was also in the synagogue right. at the time of the shooting. And he finally made it his way back into the synagogue. What about Andrea? Is she ready to go back in yet? I, I asked her that question and Ron, her husband, and they both said not the way it is right now. Mm -hmm. It would have to be remodeled before they would go back in. Well, obviously, also, people would be wondering whether or not she would be going to attend the trial or not of the man who was accused of shooting. She said that if they need her, she will be there. All right. Susan, excellent report. Thank you.